As we wrap up another month, let's not forget that May is National Osteoporosis Awareness Month. 10 million Americans aged 50 and older have the disease and another 43 million have low bone density, placing them at risk. Registered dietitian Rita Smith joins us with nutritional tips for keeping our bones strong and firm as we age. Hi, this is Rita Smith, registered dietitian at Centera Martha Jefferson Hospital. May is National Osteoporosis Month, so it's a time to be reminded about the importance of bone health and bone strength. One in two women and one in four men over 50 will break a bone sometime in their life due to osteoporosis. It's a silent disease. We cannot feel our bones becoming weak, fragile, or porous, and we may not even know we have osteoporosis until we have our first break or fracture of a bone. Prevention does begin in childhood because that's when it's most activity in bone building into the teen years. Peak bone mass is in the early 20s. Building and maintaining strong bones requires a variety of nutrients, including the mineral calcium, which we'll find in dairy foods, as well as in green leafy vegetables and soybean and calcium fortified milk products like soy milk and almond milk. And we also need vitamin D, which we get through some foods, like some of the fatty oils and oily fish, but we also get it through sunshine. It helps with calcium absorption. Other nutrients that we need for bone maintenance will include good sources of protein throughout the day, the mineral potassium, which we find in fruits, vegetables, and dairy products, and then the mineral magnesium is needed, and we'll find that in nuts and legumes. A hip fracture at age 75 is not good because it can result in extended rehab stay and we may not be able to live independently afterwards. It depends on the healing process, how it goes. And 20% of seniors who break a hip die within one year due to secondary complications. So bone strength, um, as a reminder, is also compromised by smoking as well as excess of alcohol intake. And then we wanna have regular exercise for maintaining that bone strength and of course balance. For additional information about osteoporosis prevention, you can log on to sintera.com slash health wellness. Send your nutrition questions to me at the station, nbc29.com, click on the health link. Until next time, it's Rita Smith reminding you that moderation, a variety of foods and heavy meal time with your children are key to eating well.